When we add those, we'll get the negative 8 we were looking for. We multiply them to get positive 15. So we'll have x minus 3 and x minus 5. Am I finished? No? Why not? I forgot to bring down my 3x. Any questions? I'll give you a few seconds to write that down. If you didn't get it. Michaela, you have any questions? Okay. We'll go through it a couple more times. Alright. What we're going to do now is we're going to see one more problem like the last one. It's probably the most involved. And then we're going to go on to a couple of multiple choice type problems. We were going to use the clickers today. They failed. So we're just going to write them down with my hand. All right. We got about uh, 30 seconds to minute. Just like the bell yep. See what you can factor out and then see if it'll factor down further. So far, you're right. And I'll see what multiplies to give you 14 and that's enough. Okay. Does all three of these have an X? No. So we can't take on X. But you can take on 4. Okay. Now we're going to have 4X squared. Okay. 4 divided by 4 gives us. Now what multiplies 
give you four days. Think about that. Start dividing it by stuff if you don't know. Okay, so 7 times 2 give you 14. Mm -hmm. Does that add to be 9? 7 plus 2. Does that give you 9? Yeah. So this part will break down into x plus 7 and x plus 2. Okay, Drew. sheet of paper. I want you to write everything that we do today on this sheet of paper. It's not Friday. Yeah, you're going to turn this paper Which one? 
next answer. You can check it. Yeah. So even if you don't know what you're doing on some of these tests, you can guess and check. You don't have to work through everything. Can anyone not put this in? Do not put all of this in parentheses because that's not what it means. It means 2 times 25 is 50. Minus 1 is 49. Square root of 49 is 7. Minus 5 is 2. Eight. You do not have to do any work. Get it well? Okay. All right. Now on to what we're doing for today. Oops. And that goes for any type of question on ACT or end of course or anything. If it has an X and an equal sign, you can plug and check. Okay? divisible by what? Yeah. If you are thinking two, that's correct. They are divisible by two, but that's not the biggest number that you can divide all of them by. So if you have to have a six and an M, you're automatically at the D. So how many of you chose D? Just show here. Good. All right. And then you would check to make sure the inside was correct as well. 6 divided by 6 left you with m squared. Plus, <coughs> why not? Which one? Right here? <coughs> right here? B? Yeah, it couldn't be. So D is the correct answer. <laughs> Right. Now, sometimes on a test, they may have a different version of an answer that you maybe don't remember. Just keep in mind that the answer choices, your answer has to be there. So we're looking to see which one will work. Factory. 
multiply through, that's how you can also tell how we check our work. <coughs> how do we check to see if this is right? Coil it out. So if we coil these out, we can tell which one would match up there, right? Okay? So let's just take A. 6x plus 9 times 2x plus 3. If we foil that out or distribute, whichever one you like, we still have 6 times 2, which gives us what? 12x squared. <coughs> and you think that you know how to do it and that answer choice isn't showing up, there probably is another way that you can look at the problem. Just like this one. That answer choice is how we've learned it. Factoring out the greatest common factor may not be there. But there's another way to do it. What we're really worried about is which one gives us the 36x. So we take this times this. 6 times 3 gives you what? 18. And 9 times 2 gives you what? 18. 9 times 3 gives you 27. When we combine our inner, inner and outer terms, what is that going to give us, Jacob? 18 plus 18. It's going to give us 36. So since that was 36x, we're going to have 12x squared. Does that match what we started with? Yes. Yeah. So A matches the answer that we started with. Does that make sense? 